Now guys, what I'm gonna attempt to do here is actually get the good old Gold Ranger here apart. Try to take off the different things. Now I saw our image earlier online where somebody had definitely managed to pull them apart. Shouldn't be too hard. Everything is essentially just ball joints. Now, what I'm thinking down here, I need to get the legs unpinned, but I don't know if I can. Because I wanted to take these off, because I think that these are in fact a separate piece inserted onto the body. This is molded in though, so I have to just paint that over the thigh. Uh, I don't know how the arms are attached. Probably a little sturdier if I had to guess. But this should just come up and over the chest. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely tabbed in right there. Question is, how the heck do I remove it? Okay, let's try. Something like that. There we go. Okay, that wasn't too hard to unpick. At least off the front. Don't end up destroying the damn thing. Looks like I'm already getting stress marks. to reshape it slightly. Okay, the front was tabbed in like so. I mean, it's soft plastic for a reason. Okay, I don't know what holds the head on, but it's on there. Okay, so that comes out fairly easy. Off the front. There we go. Damn. Just gotta remember to glue it back in. Okay, so that's off. Yeah, I'm just going to throw the legs around. I wonder if I can separate the torso and get that piece off. That rotates top and bottom of that. 
Okay, I think the arms are actually pegged in here at the biceps. Okay, yep, mushroom pegs. Soak the whole thing in hot water first. I think I about killed that elbow. <sighs> Shit, that's in there. up good old thingy okay well that would probably indicate that the thigh might do the or the this might do the same thing actually I can't tell what kind of joint that is is because I don't want to have to paint this on the leg Just like glue the fuck in there. Something I can't tell. Oh. oh. Wait, what? What happened here? How did this. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was really confused there for a second. I was like, what the heck just happened? Okay, well, I got the biceps off. See if I can actually remove the armbands. I know that's a separate molded piece. Oh yeah. Just sort of glued on. I stress the sort of. I could do this all the easy way and just take the gold Gundam marker to it, but I've never been known to do things the easy way. Yeah, this one not being as easy as the other side was. I know that's not really stuck in there. It's just got tabs on the side. Okay, I'm going to come back to it in a second. Okay, still trying to get this armband off. Nearly got it. Just, just keeps sticking.
کن Man, how's it that one whole side? Just not let go. There we go. Get that glue out of there. Yoink. Okay, so that's the left side. Right, yep, left side. Right side. Okay. Right, so that. Um. That's probably a more significant thing than I want to try to rip apart. But that does look like it's the entire torso. The head is a mushroom peg. Ugh. I can't get it out. So I need to paint this part. And this part's not gonna let go. At least not without some proper poking and prodding. Is. Because if it's just a belt that's on there, that's another story. Because that might could get removed. Maybe not. Okay. So I can get under it. Question is, can I push it down off the arm? So that's where that ball joint is. All right. Let's see here. Dang it. Like I said, I wanted to avoid having to paint things on here, but I may not have a choice. 
I know the kneecap, I don't have a choice unless I completely disassemble the leg. Which, while doable, is not something I really wanted to do. So I'd have to disconnect the joints as a knee. I can tape that. I can tape in here. But I'd have to like tape, or I'd have to paint this section. And then come up here and paint this section entirely. That's really annoying. Banda, why couldn't you have just made this easier? Just made this thing gold to begin with. See, I can't tell. Obviously, this bottom part is plugged in. One part of this is plugged into the other, I can tell. For sure. This looks like it plugs into the bottom by some means that I can't. Wiggle free, apparently. Still got the super soft fucking knee joints. See, the one that annoys me the most is the belt because I really wanted to be able to get the torso apart and get that belt out. Yes, I can stretch it up. So it's not the entire center section, it is an actual belt. So, question is... If I were to... Say... Cut it loose somewhere... On one side, and glue it back together... Would that be a thing? for sure. Alright guys, after struggling with the belt for a really long time, I decided to leave it on there because it's just not coming off. Um, the head's not going to come off without a fight, but that's okay. I'll just have to mask around it, literally. Just try to get that done in time, or in whatever. This is, of course, the biggest, most important part. Um, make sure it gets done right. I mean, I pulled these things off, but I may as well put them back on at this point because I can't separate the rest of the form. So there's almost no point. Except now I don't remember which way it was up. So just cram these damn things back on. No big deal. I am leaving the hands off because that'll make life easier later. So, I mean, if I could completely disassemble this thing, I definitely, definitely would. But I'm just going to have to creatively mask because I am going to spray paint this. Like I said, I could take my Gundam marker to it, but that gets a little bit messy. Eh, the tape's actually not bad. I'll just use it anyways. And I do have this nice Tamiya masking tape that I use for most of these paint jobs. It's kind of nice that most of this thing is round with very neat lines that I can mask for the most part. But once again, I'm not happy about the fact I can't completely disassemble this thing. 
without breaking it. Or even better, feeling like I'm going to break it. Because that matters more. And I don't want any paint bleed from gold onto the white. Or even the black for that matter. So on super crisp lines. It's not going to be a perfect job by any means, but I'm going to get it as close as I can. I also have my big blue masking tape for doing the larger sections. Oh, this is not going to be easy. I'm trying to tape on something somewhat spherical. Just to get this line here. There we go. Now it had something to stick to. And if the end of the ball joint gets a little gold on it, that's okay, because it goes inside of the hand. Wow, that just completely slipped off. What the heck? Uh, was this one that I got wet? Maybe that's why the tape wouldn't stick to it. I was trying to warm up the uh, armband. Alright, so I will definitely be putting the stick or putty or whatever there for protecting that arm. Because I don't have alligator clips, so I use putty. Okay, make sure that good and sealed off. Once again, make sure I get that all up underneath there. That would be nice to have slightly larger tape. I want this arm as straight as possible. Don't want to accidentally get any paint all up in that joint. Actually, it's a good thing about how I remove that, because I can push it up and then tape under it a little bit. Or a lot bit, for that matter. There we go. There we go. Nice. That actually covers itself very nicely. Just get the top of the arm here. Which I could do in similar fashion. But hopefully not trash it. I'll put that sleeve back on. And pretty much anything I accidentally get over spray on if it's not already something painted I can probably clean up fairly easily oh jeez I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that uh, let's see here Oh, 
There we go. Let's see if I get a little bit up in there. That doesn't really matter. So that one is pretty much done. Let's get the other arm. Might as well start at the top, just as I did with that one. Although, once again, I think this one's going to be a pain. Yep, a little bit. And all this just so I can go outside and paint this thing in the rain. <laughs> actually, that's not true. It quit raining. It's actually turned into kind of a pretty day outside now. But it was a very ugly storm that was rolling through there for a while. Yeah, sun's actually out. Push that back on. Oh, maybe it goes the other way. Alright, so that's back on there. Time to do the elbow. The hard part's going to be the legs and the knees for sure. Elbows, arms, those are all straight for the most part. And without having you know, like an elbow pad, shouldn't be too bad. That knee pad is going to be a pain to mask off. And mind you, I'm doing this all in the hopes that I still actually have that Tamiya gold. Which I, I know I painted something gold with it once, but I don't think it was much. I know for sure I painted the Grimgaard swords gold. But I don't think I've used up much of that can, to be honest. So I'm hoping that I've got more than enough to do a couple coats on this guy. It's not exactly what I had planned for today, but you know, again, sometimes you just gotta roll with what goes on. Kind of got limited in what I could do today. So I'm gonna get this thing all prepped up and everything. I may not even get it painted in this exact moment, but at least if I got it all ready to go and get all my other reviews filmed today, I'll be good. Now, one thing I was wanting to do was actually hit these with a coat of black first, or at least some dark color, so that I could bring out the molded detail in the gauntlets and all that. Now, I don't have to panel line it, it'll just be like a reverse wash almost.
I'm going to hit it with some black and then paint gold over it because it won't go into the crevices as much that way. Or something like that. I don't know. Okay. Well, that either worked or it didn't. We'll find out. I said to do super light coats, like you're supposed to do anyways. Okay, so let's start down here and work our way up. Good enough. Okay. That's two arms. So I've got the legs. There we go. That's technically overkill, but don't care. Just gotta wrap this foot. That was sloppy as all get out, but that's okay. I just needed to get it up high enough in one fell swoop, and then I can come back with the finer tape. Once again, not happy that I couldn't get this leg apart, but it is what it is. That's a nice hard line too. See, that's the unexpected part, this curve in is causing a high and low zone. That sucks. Hours of prep <laughs> for like 40 minutes of work. That's usually how these things go.
See, this is where I'd love to be able to separate this knee joint. Because this is not going to be easy. See, my problem with this whole thing is that that knee is painted. So that means, you know, unlike the rest of the armor, which is just gold plastic and they didn't bother painting it, that means they purposely painted that and this thigh armor the wrong color. And Bandai knew that they were doing it wrong and just went, eh. Nobody's going to care. The gold angels, angel. <laughs> the gold angel's not gray. Can't talk. Can't talk. Thinking. I might need a beer. After all this. At least the thing is, if I can, if I can mask it off decently and close it, that'll be okay. Yeah, get it all up in there. That's what I wanted. Right up under there. All right, guys, so after a bit more time, I got the whole torso done, which looks absolutely ridiculous, and I can guarantee I'm going to have a lot of bleeding up here around the collar. That's just annoying. This is where I wish I had an airbrush, because that paint's going to just leak all through there. I just have to, like, really scrape it and clean it up good after I'm done. Then the belt, kind of annoying. Legs, about as good as they can get. Not too concerned with the back of the legs. Just want to make sure the knees and the armor and stuff all get done. Of course, this whole thing doesn't even need to be done at all. So that's good there. Arms are ready to go. So next thing will be to actually paint it. And it is now pouring rain again. So that's not going to happen, at least for a while. So I'm actually going to go ahead and get to the review that I need to do. So, I'm going to do that. So guys, after all that, I realized I did not do the power staff. But, I think I might go ahead and just hit this with the Gundam marker. It'll be significantly easier. Because it's a lot smaller. I just have to be careful in like these areas. Although, technically speaking, in here is supposed to be green. Or, I'm sorry. Uh, why do I keep wanting to say green today? It's supposed to be black in there anyways. So, I'll probably do that with the Gundam marker. It'll be significantly you know, faster to just go along there and do that whole thing rather than mask it off and try to spray it because like getting in here is going to be nearly impossible but I can get that with the Gundam marker almost no problem so yeah I'll just do that my worry is that this thing is so soft through here you know I didn't want to actually 
mess with it too bad. And I gotta be careful not to take off any of this uh, silver. So yeah. All right, so, okay. So I've got all the stuff here. You know, I already had a mask off from last week and needed to get things mounted on sticks so I could paint. And I've got, as I pointed out last night, got a couple cans of paint, got Tamiya Gold, which is pretty decent gold, and you've got Tamiya Gloss Black. Now that's gonna be the base, because realistically, if you want a really shiny metallic color, you need a very glossy undercoat. Now actually, I need to see something here. So of course we have my thing of paints. So I still have, well yeah, I got essentially an entire can of gold, so actually I don't even need this one. Put that away. So that should be good, because all the other things I have probably are not glossy enough. Unless I did it with like a nice silver underneath something, but I ain't gonna worry about that. <sighs> like I said, it's kind of cold outside, but I'm gonna do what I can to get these things painted up. And hopefully, nice. All right, guys, you can see I got a coat of black on everything. I'm gonna come back and do another one here in a little bit. Gonna let that dry out. But, like, the shield is probably the most important part. So I'm gonna make sure that gets a good couple of coats. Same thing with the chest and torso. All right, guys, so I did another coat of black. Get these guys nice and glossy. Brought them inside because I'm afraid it's gonna get very dusty out there. The kids upstairs are running around. Plus, you know, I don't know if the landscapers are coming today or not. So, bringing them in for now. Looks really good. Actually, looks cool. Solid black. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Alright, guys. So here's progress. That's just the first coat of gold. I might give it another quick coat. I'm gonna give it about 30 minutes to kind of just set in a little bit. And then I'll spray it down again, and then I'm not going to touch it for a day. <laughs> I don't want to mess anything up, but, I mean, it looks pretty good right now. I actually dig it. Tammy Gold is actually pretty good. And of course, that's what you really want to see more than anything. But, it'll look pretty good. I have to do the staff, too, but I'm not going to spray paint that. I'm going to have a gun to marker. It's too hard to actually paint otherwise. 